Alright, we have learned one point perspective. Now we are going to do two point perspective, which means there are two vanishing points, one on either side of the paper. And this is our goal for this assignment three cubes. So we'll start with an empty piece of paper. I wrote two point perspective on there. I'm going to fold it in half, hot dog ways. If you want to just draw a line across as your horizon line, that's just fine going to put a dot on either side here, my two vanishing points, and then I'm going to draw three vertical lines. I'll make them about two inches long, one in the bottom left, one across the horizon line in the middle, and one in the top right. And our rule for this assignment is on the top and bottom of each of these vertical lines, we have to draw two lines that connect to both vanishing points. So the top and bottom of each line connect to both vanishing points. So all I have to do now is draw a line from the top of each of those vertical lines to both vanishing points. So I will do all of the lines that go to the left vanishing point first. I'm going to draw lightly because I'll have to erase some of this. And now I'm going to draw all the lines that go to the right vanishing point. Like I said, from each line on the top and the bottom, there's a line going to the left and to the right vanishing point. So now we need to make these into cubes. So I'll decide, I'm going to lightly sketch in here how big I want my cubes to be. It's about an inch or three quarters of an inch over from each line. Then after I lightly sketch it, I'm going to go in with my ruler and make that line darker and make sure it's nice and straight. And once that is done, I have to follow that same rule. The top and bottom of each one of these vertical lines, I need two lines. One going to the left vanishing point and one to the right. Now all of these lines already have a line going in one direction. From there it's going to the left, so now I just need to do a line going to the right. I'm not going to take these lines all the way over, because now I can see how big my cube is. So I'll just go until I know I've completed the cube. Okay, now I can do a quick check. Just make sure I've got two lines going from the top and bottom of each of these vertical lines. And it looks like I'm done. And what I'll do now is I've got the front corner, the two side corners of this cube, and I need to do the back corner. So where the line from the top right corner intersects with the line from the left top corner, if I go straight down, it'll connect with where this line crosses that line. The same thing over here. And the same thing up top. And this line looks like it's going to overlap with the front. 
and now I can just go in and darken each of these lines to make sure I can see my cube well and I will erase everything that's not part of the cube going to darken up the lines that don't look very dark. And if you want to leave all these lines, that's fine. But by erasing them, it gives you a clearer view of each cube. cubes and two-point perspective.